Tackle Junkies, I'm about to save you some money. Call me Jerry Maguire. Show me the money. Show me the money. Do not put that in there. Do not put that in there. Really appreciate you guys clicking on the video. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, definitely subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell the way you guys are notified every time I pump out a new video. I want to give you guys a couple tips today on saving more money with your soft plastics. Now, we've all used soft plastics in the past. The more you use them, the more they, they wear out. A fish or two, maybe more, maybe less. But as the hook point comes through the bait, it's going to start to tear a hole in the back of the bait. We'll make a slice here with this knife to kind of represent that hole. Obviously, it's a little bit over-exaggerated, but you guys get the idea. As the hook comes through the bait, you'll start to tear a hole in the back there. At this point, the bait really is no longer usable. Okay, So what do you got to do? Replace the bait. So you're going to go through a lot of plastics when you bury the hook point in the bait. Now they all do have, uh, or majority of plastics these days, have a hook slot where you can just Texas rig it and you just let the hook lay on the back. And it's weedless because it's in that slot. But the hole that you put in the bait to rig it up, as you catch a fish or two, it's going to become loose, the bait's going to slide down, you'll end up getting snagged up, things like that. So again, you'll have to replace the bait. Okay. Now, replacing the bait, obviously one option, but the more you replace, the more you spend, obviously. Okay, two, get yourself a hook all. Now, again, it's going to be a third option, so stay tuned for that. But again, the second option would be get a hook all. Guys, handy little tool here by Rapid Fishing Solutions. I'll have them linked down below. Definitely check them out as well. Some other videos I've done on the hook all, check those out as well. But again, a handy little tool here that will save you more money with your soft plastics. Let's go ahead and rig one up. I'll show you guys real fast how that works. Five aught must add hook here with a screw keeper. If you have a just your standard EWG Texas rig like you normally would, go in the head and come out. All right, screw keeper here. So we're going to screw that into the head of the bait, like so. All right, now before you bring the hook point into the bait, that's when you get the hook all. Okay, I got a black disc loaded up. They come in black, red, and clear. Again, get the hook point there. Put it in the center of the disc, push it through, pull it out. Now the disc is on the hook. Slide it up a little bit. Complete your Texas rig like so. And now you just slide that disc to the underside or the belly of the bait and that'll keep the bait up on the hook and it's weedless. Okay, some of you guys have asked in the past as well, it's not too tight on there to where it won't slide down, but again, it's tight enough to where it keeps the bait up on the hook, nice and weedless. Okay, definitely check those out. Again, linked down below. Let's say you don't have a hook all. You're going through plastics. How do you save more money? All right, get yourself a bottle of Mend It. All right, it's a soft plastic glue, probably one of the best on the market. I've been using them for years. I do have an older video of using the stuff as well, which I'll link down below. But it's fantastic to, like I said, mend your baits, to fix your baits, especially with more expensive baits. Again, I used to do years ago with all the striking baits, um, your swim baits, things like that, and you know, save some money and mend it. So we have the, the slice here in the bait. All right, get your mend it. All right your bait here open up that little slice and lay some mended in there whoops I don't want to mend my finger together <laughs> but yeah just lay some mend it in there you don't need too much and you want to let that sit for a few minutes now it's best to, like I said, rig up a brand new bait, set these aside and either, you know, at the end of the day on the water, you can fix them, you take them home and fix them. But again, you're going to reuse those baits at a later date. I guess what we could do here while we're waiting, I got another soft plastic right here. 
go ahead and just cut it in half. Like so. Chop the head off it. Get some mend it. I like to put some on both pieces here. That's set. See if the Alexa swim here is done. And you can see here, a little bit wet, but all we have now there is the hook slot and the main slice is sealed up. All right guys, this is the bait that we cut the head off. You can see the slice right there. I wanted to get a closer view on this because it's pretty impressive. And there's a slice. If my phone will stay in focus here, you can see, you can pull on that, I mean, pretty hard. I mean, I'm trying to rip it right now. I mean, there's the tail. This came off. But you can see, I mean, it becomes one again. Here, I just ripped the nose off. And what we glued is still attached. Let's see if we can do that again. Here, look at this. Look at this. We ripped off another piece. And what's glued is still there. How impressive is that? Look, it just tore right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely check them out. Smash the thumbs up. We'll see you guys on the next one.